So your favorite child director actress sold her book proposal. Random House About Girls creator Lena Dunham's book of essays for over $3.5 million. Wow. What a bargain. Why not $4 million? Or $5 million? Or $12 million like Monica Lewinsky just got? Lena Dunham is super talented and I love her work, even though I'm old enough to be her mother. Okay. And even though I'm jealous of her. But in a good way. Okay. And even though she told the New York Times that she never buys a certain kind of book. The kind of books I've been accused of writing. Books about boyfriends and friendship and dieting and work and sex. Chicklet. Don't say the genre out loud. Say Voldemort lit instead. Okay. Anyway, I did the Lena Dunham math. Oi. Here we go again. At $3.5 million, if her book is 200 pages, that's $17,500 a page. Okay. At 250 words per page that's $70 a word. Which really isn't that much. Really? The New Yorker pays its writers $2 a word and that's considered high. But this is a book, not a magazine article. And she's under 30, and a size 10, so it's completely different. Okay. If the hardcover costs $26 it'll be a bargain for the consumer because $26 is a lot less than $3.5 million. Okay. With all the money you save you can buy a house. Or a giant loft. With tiny furniture. Wait. I'm confused. If you're spending money on a book how do you make money? You use shopping math. Of course. Buy one book and you save $3,499,974. If you buy it on Amazon or Barnes & Noble you save more, which means you earn more. Plus there's other savings and earnings. Like the paper thigh formula. What's that? People made fun of her thighs because she forgot to wear pants on the red carpet recently. There's going to be illustrations in the book so maybe there will be color photos of her thighs which will add value. Great. Then there's the depreciation factor. Is that the same as self-deprecation? No. The subtitle of her book is, A Young Woman Tells You What She's Learned. Which means the older she gets, the less young she'll be. Which means her advice will start to depreciate. That's terrible. No it isn't. Because the book will end up costing the publisher more which means the consumer will save more and thus earn more. It's a win-win. So what's her book going to be about anyway? Boyfriends and friendship and dieting and work and sex. Three and a half million dollars for Voldemort Lit.